Hi, my name is Vanessa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you a skincare routine using the ordinary products that's suitable for all skin types and skin needs. And I'm going to show you how you can adjust it accordingly. Now before we're getting started, let's have a look at the overview so that you know what this video is about. So as you can see right here, I'm in a PowerPoint that I have prepared for you. And we're going to go over the morning skincare routine, which I'm going to break down step by step. Same applies to the evening skincare routine and how you can adjust it from your morning skincare routine into an evening routine and then I want to get into what you need to remember when layering skincare products primarily peeling since this is often an issue when using the ordinary water-based zones and then briefly get into the sunscreen information talking about the application and how you can properly take it off by the end of the day now at the bottom of the powerpoint you can see some slides about the skincare product description those are all the products that i have included in this example routine so that you know for whom they are and what they can do for you and i summarized it in hopefully a bit more of an understandable way so that you know what the products can do for you you. Now you will find the entire PowerPoint in the description box down below. So let's get started with the morning skincare routine which you can see right here. On the top corner you can see the time of use. Below that the steps underneath the products that I have picked in the boxes and below the boxes the overall general guide of how much you need to use. Now I summarized the overall general guide based on my experience and the directions of the individual products so that you have an idea of where you can get started. Now this can of course be slightly adjusted, however overall I recommend not overdoing it with your skincare products in general, especially if they have a higher percentage of an active ingredient, so that it's not going to cause any layering issues or sensitivity. So let's get started with the first step, which is washing your face using a regular cleanser that's suitable for your skin type. Now you could go ahead and use the ordinary school lane cleanser, that's completely fine. However, it may be a bit too heavy to use it in the morning it may be a better option to use it in the evening. Therefore, I've exchanged it and put two water-based, very gentle, lightweight cleansers into this routine to properly wash the face. Then rinse it off and then pat the skin dry. Now, when I'm talking about patting the skin dry, I'm referring to removing the remaining water drops from the skin surface by gently patting all over. Please do not rub. This is an essential step to do in between, which can already reduce the likelihood of experiencing peeling or layering issues. So it feels tight once you have applied your skincare products to the skin that you're going to leave on. And so once you're done with your cleansing step, you're going to move on to the first water-based serum, which is going to be the Ordinary Caffeine Solution. Now you only need to include that one if you suffer from a dark circles or puffiness. Um, if you do not have any of those issues, well, it's fine to skip it and move on to the next step. But overall, your eye serum would be the next step after your cleansing step. Then apply it to the skin and leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. So right here on the top, you can see the sign, do not wash off. That's basically the, what I mean by just leaving it on the skin. And below again, you can see the overall general guide where I say right here, use about one drop and apply it to the eye contour, do not rinse. So you have this with every product that I have right here in my example. Once you have applied it, usually those serums should absorb pretty fast into the skin. However, to give you a general guide of how long you need to wait, Go with about 30 seconds to a minute. If it has already absorbed much sooner, well then of course immediately move on to the next step. The next step is going to be your water-based stones that you're going to use all over your face and neck. And we're going to target specific skin concerns. I went with the most common ones and with some of the most famous water-based stones that ordinary offers. Since it's very likely that you have such a product at home as well so that you can recreate the routine. So the first one would be the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Zone Plus B5, which helps with hydration, plumbing, and skin repair. Then another option would be the Ordinary Niacinamide, which helps regulate oiliness, therefore it reduces the appearance of enlarged pores, plus it's a great brightening zone. And then lastly, as an option, I have the Ordinary Buffet, which is an anti-aging zone for fine lines and wrinkles, uh, elasticity issues, or firmness, so that you can target those skin concerns as well. 
Now you can go with one of them or use two of them. I wouldn't necessarily use all three of them, mainly because it may not feel the best on the skin when layering all three serums on the skin surface, because then it may feel a bit sticky or weird on the skin surface, which may not be that comfortable. But of course, it wouldn't be wrong to use all three of them in the same routine if it like targets your specific skin concerns. But from my experience and the advice that I can share with you, go with one or at least a two and then there you have it. Again, apply it to the skin and leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. Then wait a bit in between. Once everything has absorbed, you're going to move on to another optional step, which would be the ordinary natural moisturizing factors. Now you can include it in the morning, but you don't have to. This mainly depends on how, dry, how hydrating your sunscreen may be. But nonetheless, including the ordinary natural moisturizing factors into your morning skin care routine can be quite beneficial because our skin has naturally the natural moisturizing factors this is what the skin is made out of like one big portion out of it however this can decrease if you have a damaged skin barrier or in general if uh, as we get older this decreases as well so what you can do is add it back to the skin so that the skin can rebuild itself and strengthen itself when using it apply it to the skin leave it on the skin there's no need to wash it off and then you may want to wait a bit longer in between because you're going to include a moisturizer to the routine so it has time to settle into the skin and then we are moving on to sunscreen which is important to do during daytime if you have sun exposure and so you could go ahead and include the ordinary sunscreen however I did not include it because it gives such a like terrible white cast that for me personally this is something that really annoys me if you do not mind uh, looking white well then of course go ahead and include it there's nothing wrong with it but instead I went with like options that I use myself, which would be, for example, Neot Survivor 30, which is a mineral sunscreen, or Cosorex Aloe Soothing sunscreen, which is a mixture of mineral and chemical. So either one is fine, or if you have a different one that you tolerate well, go ahead and do so. Apply it to the skin to protect the skin from the damaging UV rays, to reduce your fine lines and wrinkles as much as possible, or prevent them from forming as long as you can. Same would apply if you have hyperpigmentation, that it's not going to get worse or experiencing a sunburn or overall have a damaged skin barrier due to the sun uh, like damaging UV rays. Nonetheless, apply it in the morning as your last step in your skincare routine. So this would be then the entire breakdown to understand my example routine and how you can adjust it. Now the same is now going to happen when looking into the evening skincare routine, but you need to adjust it because you're going to change your time of use. So in the evening, for example, what primarily is going to change is your cleansing step as well as you're not going to use a sunscreen in the evening, but you can replace it with an oil and or moisturizer. And so when it comes to the cleansing step, now, if you're going to use a like sunscreen that comes off pretty easy or you're wearing light makeup that comes off pretty easy, that's not waterproof or extremely pigmented or when it comes to the sunscreen, usually chemical sunscreen come off the skin much faster than mineral ones, you can go with your usual regular cleanser, that's fine. Otherwise, just go with the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser. Now, the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser is great for all skin types and it primarily targets sunscreen and makeup removal. So it can break through any makeup and through any sunscreen. Specifically talking about mineral sunscreen because those are quite stubborn to remove with your regular cleanser and or waterproof extremely pigmented makeup. So go ahead adjust your cleanser accordingly to what you have worn throughout the day and then you would probably ideally use the ordinary squalane cleanser to take everything off the skin. So once you have washed your face, rinsed off, pat the skin dry, again you can move on to the caffeine solution if that's one of your concerns, include it after your cleansing step, then move on to the water-based serums if it targets your concerns and then at the end of the routine you are going to skip your sunscreen because in the evening there's no sunscreen needed. So what you can do instead is either use the oil on its own or the moisturizer on its own. This is what I recommend. You could go with both together as well and layer them. However, if you're considering using both, my preference is that I'm going to mix them. And so you can see the individual 
general guide right here as well as what the mixing guide would be below uh, in my general guide so that you have an idea of how you can do this so mixing a few drops of the oil to about a pea size to a bean size amount of moisturizer is my preference to have everything in one and then apply it to the skin leave it on the skin and so there you have it and I went with some of the most popular ordinary skincare products as you can see so that I can target your skin concerns as well as the products that you're more likely to have at home when recreating the skincare routine. Now the way on how I have like done the setup of the skincare routine it does not conflict with anything if you're going to follow the same routine as I have shared with you right now and I've picked them based on uh, your skin concerns that can occur the most likeliest. So this would be again hydration, uh, if you're looking into anti-aging or maybe oil regulating or brightening so that we have all those points covered when doing this routine. Plus, you may have already noticed that most of the products can be used daily in the morning and or evening, except for maybe the squalene cleanser that you just want to use in the evening or the oil that you preferably want to use in the evening because during daytime this may be a bit too heavy. But other than that, you can use the other products like twice per day daily if you like to. So now that you have an, uh, like an understanding of what the morning and evening skincare routine can look like when following it, I now want to get into the layering guide, which specifically again would be the peeling issue, where when you're going to apply the ordinary water-based uh, serums, and depending on how you're going to apply it, you can come across peeling which looks like your skin is going to flake off, but it's not your skin, it's a product that you're going to rub off the skin. It mainly happens with the ordinary hyaluronic acid, and I will get into this why. So here you can see a brief explanation of what it first of all is, as I just have explained it to you, and then how you can avoid the peeling when doing uh, the application. So again, here you can see that these are the tips that, uh, tips that may help to avoid skincare peeling. So apply products to freshly washed and a thoroughly dried face. So again, this is what I referred to earlier by just removing the water drops on the skin surface. You do not want to apply your water-based serums on still uh, basically wet skin. So please make sure to properly remove those water drops on the skin surface. Otherwise, you're going to mix your skincare product with the remaining water. This then starts to dry, does not only feel tight on the skin, but then when layering the product on top, this is basically what you're going to rub off because it wasn't able to properly absorb into the skin. Then right here it also says avoid mixing oils or silicone formulations and water-based products. So in this specific case it's referring to uh, layering can sometimes be more helpful than mixing everything together because certain formulations when looking into the ordinary products do not mix well therefore layering may be a better option. And another product would be not only the uh, and another point would be not only the waiting time that I have already uh, emphasized, but avoid using too much product when applying them. So this is what I meant earlier with a general guide. I have adjusted it so that it is less likely to cause the pilling because I often read in my comments that they sometimes have used an entire drop of full of product for their face and neck. This is way too much. Your skin does not need that much product. All what you need is just a tiny bit that you can evenly blend it all over and it is able to properly absorb into the skin because if you're using too much of it, it just sits on the skin surface and again when then layering another product on top this is what causes the peeling. So there are several tips that you can follow to avoid getting skin cap peeling because if you experience it once you can't start all over again. You need to wash your face again because you cannot properly get it off the skin in any other way and so therefore keep those tips in mind. But the other point would be sunscreen information mainly talking about the application, so always apply your sunscreen 10 to 15 minutes before sun exposure. Then as a general rule, use about half a teaspoon for your face, neck and ears. And if you want to include your decolletage, use about one a teaspoon. If you should have used a bit too much of your sunscreen, it's totally fine to adjust it, reduce the amount of it. But still, if you're going to apply it properly in the morning, in most cases, if you have like just maybe a tiny bit of sun exposure, this should be enough and last you for the entire day. And so here you can see the visual guide again with the sunscreen and half a teaspoon and one teaspoon. 
Then when it comes to how you can properly remove your sunscreen, it mainly talks about that you are making sure that in the evening that you're going to properly take it off the skin. You do not want to have a still like a residue on the skin surface. So this can be by using an oil or balm cleanser on its own. Here you can see two examples. This would fit in the category of the ordinary squalane cleanser. And when using a washcloth, as you can see right here as well, in between, this can be more than enough and you can properly remove the residue that the oil or balm cleanser may give you too. So then you just can use one cleanser. However, it isn't wrong to do a double cleanse by using an oil or balm cleanser as your first step to break mainly down your sunscreen and makeup and then continue with a regular cleanser to target your skin type and to properly remove maybe any last traces that the oil or balm cleanser may give you. So then it would necessarily to do the double cleanse but again keep in mind if the oil or balm cleanser is enough for you it is fine to just use that one and so if you now say well i want to recreate this routine at home again i want to remind you you will find the powerpoint in the description box down below and you can even download it if you find this video helpful if you enjoyed this video and you want to support my work and the powerpoint sites that i'm creating for you Below this video, you can see a super thanks button or in the description box, you can see a PayPal link if you want to give a donation. I would highly appreciate it if you're going to support my work. So thank you so much already in advance. But this is what I pretty much wanted to share with you. If you now want to learn more about the application of the ordinary products, as well as how you can do a double cleanse, I'm going to leave such videos at the end of this video so that you can keep on watching. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye.